This week, morning prayer is taken from Meditations for Everyday Life by Paul David Tripp. Morning prayer for the 1st of August. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. From Romans 8, verse 28. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for the good, for those who are called according to his purpose. A reading from 1 Samuel, chapter 1 to chapter 2, verse 10. There was a certain man, Elkanah. He had two wives, and the name of one was Hannah, and the name of the other, Perinna. Perinna had children, but Hannah had no children. Now this man used to go up year by year from his town to worship and to sacrifice to the Lord of hosts at Shiloh, where the two sons of Eli, Hopni and Phinehas, were priests of the Lord. On the day when Alcana sacrificed, he would give portions to his wife Penea and to all her sons and daughters, but to Hannah he gave a double portion, because he loved her, though the Lord closed her womb. Her rival used to provoke her severely, to irritate her because the Lord had closed her womb. So it went on year after year, as often as she went up to the house of the Lord, she used to provoke her. Therefore Hannah wept and would not eat. Her husband, Elkanah, said to her, Hannah, why do you weep? Why do you not eat? Why is your heart sad? Am I not more to you than ten sons? After they had eaten and drunk at Shiloh, Hannah rose and presented herself before the Lord. Now Eli the priest was sitting on the seat beside the doorpost of the temple of the Lord. She was deeply distressed and prayed to the Lord and wept bitterly. She made this vow, O Lord of hosts, if only you will look on the misery of your servant and remember me and not forget your servant but will give to your servant a male child. Then I will set him before you as a Nazarite until the day of his death. He shall drink neither wine nor intoxicants and no razor shall touch his head. As she continued praying before the Lord, Eli observed her mouth. Hannah was praying silently, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eli thought she was drunk. So Eli said to her, How long will you make a drunken spectacle of yourself? Put away your wine. But Hannah answered, No, my Lord, I am a woman deeply troubled. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I have been pouring out my soul before the Lord. Do not regard your servant as a worthless woman, for I have been speaking out of my great anxiety and vexation all this time. Then Eli answered, Go in peace. The God of Israel, grant the petition you have made to him. And she said, Let your servant find favour in your sight. Then the woman went to her quarters, ate and drank with her husband, and her countenance was sad no longer. They rose early in the morning and worshipped before the Lord. Then they went back to their house at Ramah. Elkanah knew his wife Hannah, and the Lord remembered her. In due time, Hannah conceived and bore a son. She named him Samuel, for she said, I have asked him of the Lord. The man Elkanah and all his household went up to offer to the Lord the yearly sacrifice and to pay his vow. But Hannah did not go up 
for she said to her husband, As soon as the child is weaned, I will bring him, that he may appear in the presence of the Lord and remain there for ever. I will offer him as a Nazarite for all time. Her husband Elkanah said to her, Do what seems best to you. Wait until you have weaned him. Only may the Lord establish his word. So the woman remained and nursed her son until she weaned him. When she had weaned him, she took him up with her, along with a three-year-old bull, an epaph of flour and a skin of wine. She brought him to the house of the Lord at Shiloh, and the child was young. Then they slaughtered the bull, and they brought the child to Eli. And she said, O oh my Lord, as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who is standing here in your presence, praying to the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me the petition that I made to him. Therefore I have lent him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he is given to the Lord. She left him there for the Lord. Hannah prayed and said, My heart exalts in the Lord. My strength is exalted in my God. My mouth derides my enemies because I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord, no one beside you. There is no rock like our God. Talk no more so very proudly. Let not arrogance come from your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the feeble gird on strength. Those who are full have hired themselves out for bread, but those who are hungry are fat with spoil. The barren has borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. The Lord kills and brings to life. He brings down to Sheol and raises up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low. He also exalts. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honour. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and on them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall be cut off in darkness. For not by might does one prevail. The Lord, his adversaries shall be shattered. The Most High will thunder in heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the power of his anointed. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Try to recall a hard moment in your life and consider how God's amazing grace helped you through that time. Take some time to pray that God will transform today's hard moments in ways that leave you singing his praises. hard moments between the already and the not yet, hard moments in a world gone bad, hard moments when temptation seduces, hard moments with body weak and mind tired, hard moments when friends promise but betray, hard moments when unexpected difficulty surprises. Hard moments when discouragement blinds vision. Hard moments when once again sin rules the heart. Hard moments with so many things broken. Hard moments, but I am not alone. Hard moments, yet I am never left to my limited resources. Hard moments in your hands become hard moments of transformation. Hard moments in your hands become hard moments of amazing grace.
we bring before you those we know facing hard moments this day. We ask that they would know your transforming, amazing grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ our Saviour give us peace. Amen.